Hello and welcome to CGD Games today. Taking a look at Taxi Life. It's been a while since we've done some uh, Taxi Life, so I thought, you know what, we'll dive on. Um, I don't think I've played it really since, well, about a couple of weeks after its release. Um, and we've dived back on to check out some updates and things like that. But yeah, it's, it's one of those that I've, I've barely touched. Uh, since it's released really and the, the reason for that being is well i got a little bit uh a little bit bored of it uh, if i was completely honest but i thought you know what well come on uh we'll see how it's performing now i'm, I'm not aware of any other updates since i last covered uh any update on this game but yeah we'll check it out and uh, see how we get on with it so i think what we need to do is uh hang on a minute where am i going here i'm going completely the wrong way um whoops a daisy right let's uh let's get a better view of my situation here yeah i've completely messed up here haven't i completely messed up um where do i need to go here i need to get down there i think whoops a daisy yeah let's go down here sorry pal right, let's go down here we'll indicate over and we'll just jump up on the curb like so. And uh, we'll have a look. For a job, I think, we need someone to pick up. Don't we? Right, what are you here? Uh, length, medium. You do, because you're pretty local to us. And uh, we'll come round and pick you up, young sir. Right, here we go. Right, let's go. Right, so first uh, fair of the video is just around the corner. Well, let's head around here. So, yeah, I'm using my uh, Thrustmaster controller as usual. I do love this controller. It is fantastic for uh, the driving simulation games. I need uh, to make its own video, to be honest. I keep talking about it, and I have uh, shown a picture of it, I think, on a video a while back. But, yeah, I need to do, like, a review on it, show you guys what it's about, how easy it is to use. Uh, and what I do, I set up uh, my Xbox uh, to use, I think it's co-pilot mode. So when I need uh, to use uh, the actual controller without the wheel, I can just pick up the second controller that I have wired uh, into the Xbox so it doesn't uh, switch off. And uh, just pick that controller up and it allows me to use, blimey, it allows me to use... Uh, the menus and the map etc now i've got here for some reason um what is going on there it is that's what i was after i was after the sat nav to be put back on there we go right so we'll head around here and we're gonna head down here as well but yeah it's this isn't a terrible game by any means um it's just I don't know, it got very boring very quickly for me. And yeah, and this is what a taxi taxi driver's life is all about. It's driving around the same city. Hi. Um, how you doing? You're right, pal. Um, it's driving around a city and picking up passengers and taking them everyone to the same kind of destinations. Isn't it? You're not going to do uh, much difference uh, throughout your day. I can't remember now. Uh, cruise control is that. There we go. We'll sit at a nice, comfortable 30 miles an hour while we get this gentleman to his destination. Yeah, I've got the nodding dog in the cab still. I do like this uh, people carrier as well, though. Um, it's, uh, it's not a bad taxi to drive around in. But I do find uh, that the acceleration on some of these vehicles is pretty crazy. But look, there you see, look, we're up to 30 miles an hour already. It's madness. But anyway, um, that's if you floor it. Uh, I tend not to floor it too much. I do try and drive around quite carefully. And, uh, oh, nearly ran someone over there. I just saw him in the corner of my eye coming across the zebra crossing. So at the time of recording, we are at the tail end of July um, in 2024. And there is still no wheel support uh, for this game. Now... I think during one of their last uh, updates or social media posts, uh, they did mention uh, that the 
update for wheel support should be coming July slash August. So unless something happens in the next few days, that's July out of the way. Um, so it's looking like it is going to be August uh, for wheel support uh, for uh, PlayStation 5 and the Xbox. Whoa, 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 we're rolling back just a touch there. I don't know why his patience meter has gone down. Uh, I've been driving quite carefully. I've not had any accidents. This has been quite a nice little run, actually. It's uh, you know, plenty of traffic keeping me busy. Let's just put the handbrake on there. As we uh, just chill. Oh, how do I put my radio on now? I can't remember. I can't remember any of the controls on this. At all. Would like to put the radio on. Let's. I was going to overtake them, but thought, no, it's only one lane on our side, isn't it? That screeching noise is still there as well as we pull away. That does go away if you use manual gears as well. It does. It does go away if you use manual gears. We're rolling back again. I'm trying to think now. How to. Oh, there we go. Right. That's it. Radio. Let's put a little bit of music on. Now let's put some tunes on. So car radio on. Uh, let's find... They added some new radio stations, didn't they, not long ago? I'm sure they did. Let's... I'm sure they added new radio stations. There's more than that. Let's just keep the music quite low. There we go. What is this geezer doing here? We've got some red lights. Yeah, I'm absolutely positive that they added uh, some other radio stations and the lights would change. There we go. Right, we're off. You stay there, citizens. How's your day going? Oh, hey, up. Here we go. Questions now. Um... Let's be nice. Let's complain. Such a bad day in a long time. What happened? It's personal, mate. Personal issues. How about you? It hasn't been the best day so far. Uh, we're both having a crappy day, are we? Let's be concerned. What happened? I had a bad day at work. The boss was on me. Cheer up. Don't worry. Tomorrow will be a better day. What do you know? Oh. All right. Cheers, pal. Oh DL, he's an happy soul, isn't he? Good lord. Right. Let's head down here. We've got a speed limit of 70 down here, so we're not going to get done by the rods as if we go too quick. Let's put our foot down a touch. Right, cruise control. Oh, we got some red lights. The brakes on this thing. Very spongy. That might be have something to do with my sensitivity settings, though. Now, that could be that. Try and pull away without screeching, but no, still couldn't do it. But anyway, let me know down in the comments, uh, when was the last time you popped a little bit of Taxi Life on, on your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox? Uh, is it something that you play on regular to come and relax and chill out? Because it is great for that, isn't it? You know, you know, just sitting here and driving around the city, because it is an absolutely beautiful game. And to, to be fair with it, it's not, a, like I said at the beginning of the video, it's not a bad game. It just, you know, 20 to 25 hours, you've seen it and done it all. Um, and that is a shame. It, it, the map just needed to be that little bit bigger. And maybe some different kinds of jobs. Oh, yes, we're a taxi, but it would have been great if there was an airport run or, I don't know, um, somebody ringing a taxi because the car's broken down. Just sort of different events. Uh, that happens in the city, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I need to be picked up quickly. And I know that there are, like, challenges. Um, but sometimes they're a bit silly, like, drive as fast as you can. It just wouldn't happen. It would be great if there were challenges like, were like, you know, I, I, I need to get to a meeting quickly. Can you get me there before such and such a time? Um, that would be really cool uh, if they had those sort of uh, options in the game. Let's see if we can find the, the radio station I was looking for. Let me just... Uh, the patience is running out on this fella. Summer Anthems. That's the one I was looking for. That's the one. This is my favourite station. 
Come on, what is this fella doing in front? Yeah, let's take the handbrake off because that does help. A bit busy in front of me here, isn't it? Cars everywhere. Right, we're off again. We are off again now. Right. Where are we heading? We're going straight across this road. Fingers crossed we get this guy to where he needs to be uh, before his patience meter runs out. I mean, I, I've not been able to... I'm not to blame for why he's getting a little bit impatient. We're, we're 1.85 kilometers away. Do you know, I think we might lose this client, you know? So I don't know why he is getting so upset. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, Jesus wept. Well, there we go. He's got reason to be upset now, hasn't he? I tried to get around that car as quick as I could. Why he braked like he did like that, I don't know. Just to switch lanes. The Siri idiot. Here we go, I think. Is this it? No, I thought we were dropping him off then. Speed bump. Let's take that nice and steady. Still a, a kilometre and a half away yet. From picking, uh, dropping this fella off. But yeah, I do like to play it in first person as well. I'm, I mean, the third person is great. But when I play it in third person, like so, it just feels a little bit GTA-ish to me. And not so simulator-ish. I mean, look at him getting in the wrong lane there. Trying to cross over lanes. Absolute madness. But yeah, so I do like to get myself in the cab here and enjoy it. Fingers crossed we get this fella to where he needs to be. Are we going to be taking a left here? What I do like about this uh, this this title is, you know, the, the sounds of the indicators, the sounds of the vehicle as you're driving along. Uh, they are quite... Uh, they are very good. They are very good. But it's like I said, it's, it's one to enjoy every now and again. It's not something I spend an awful lot of time on nowadays, you know. Half an hour here, half an hour there. I've used this sort of uh, reasoning before for playing a game. It's one of those, isn't it, where you could put on while you're waiting for the wife or the girlfriend or your, your mum and your dad to get ready when you're going out uh, on a day out or something. You, you Ten minutes, you want to chuck something on, you can do a quick fare. Um, and do a quick fare before you head out somewhere. It's good for that. But the AI... Um, the AI that are actually walking around, they've always been uh, a problem for me uh, on this game. Um, we've all seen, haven't we, where the AI just sort of cross out in front of you uh, on the zebra crossings. They don't just wait. You see, in real life, what would happen is you would stand at the crossing um, and you would wait for the vehicle to stop. But they don't in this game. They, they just walk out. They don't wait for you to stop at all. Um, and the amount of times I've just slammed into uh, a pedestrian crossing the road is crazy. But yeah, it's actually quite nice to get back on this and uh, play some Taxi Life. I've been uh, spuds deep into Alaskan road truckers of late and uh, Seven Days to Die, that's come out as well with a, not a remaster. That's a, but uh, version 1.0. Uh, so I've been playing an awful lot of that as well. Um, which there should have been a live stream of that. Uh, so check back on the channel to uh, check out uh, Seven Days to Die and the new update of that. It's a new part of uh, CGD Games here where we do Survival Sundays. A uh, different survival game. That will be available on the consoles for you to play. We've got lots of different survival games coming up. Flipping out, I nearly screwed up then. Right, here we go. We're going to turn in here. Looks like we've got him here before that patience bar ran out. There we go. There you go, boss. I'd rather walk next time than run oh, we, again. He's not happy. I don't think we'll be getting a tip off him. One star. Oh, we did get a tip. 66 euros. Well, better than a kick in the teeth, isn't it? Right, we've got another job. So we're going to take that one as well. We might as well go straight to that, haven't we? And it's literally just here as well, which is handy. That's good, isn't it? 
He could have actually just walked down to us, to be fair, but, you know. Whatever. All right, we'll pull in it. Are we there? Let's back up a bit then. Park the entire vehicle within the market. Right, I think what I've done here... Um, I've got it on... Yeah, I did. I had it on manual, but automatic. So I have to change the gears myself from reverse to drive into neutral, etc. Right, so let's put it in drive. And uh, we'll get this person now, which is 2.92 kilometers away. Fingers crossed they don't get too knocked off with me. And uh, only pay me, well, only give me one star rating. But yeah, look, just as we drive down here, the, the detail of of the back streets of Barcelona it is pretty nice, isn't it? And the game runs really smoothly as well, apart from the odd stutter here and there, which I can cope with. You know, it's, it's not a bad game. It lacks, like I said, it's just lacking a little bit of content. Um, some updated jobs, maybe a little bit of a map extension, but, you know, we always want more, don't we? I think if 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 push came to shove with me, like I said, some a little bit of variety in jobs. Like I said, some different types of challenges. You know, get me to my workplace, get me to a meeting, get me to a party uh, before two o'clock and it's one o'clock. So you don't have to actually race, but, you know, there's that added pressure. Uh, get me to the airport, get me to the train station. Uh, just little things like that. I think it would be a lot of fun. And uh, would add a different dynamic to the game. But give me your ideas. Would you prefer a map extension but with the same old jobs? Or would you prefer like some different types of jobs uh, within Taxi Life that, you know, would, would spice it up just a little bit? Uh, maybe some new vehicles as part of a DLC. I don't know. Let me know. So, you know, some older, older taxis rather than these modern uh, cars with all these digital... Uh, dashboards, I mean, as lovely as they are inside and well-detailed interiors, um, it would be nice to drive, you know, something a little bit older. Here we go. Right, so let's indicate. I'm going to get into this middle lane here because we're going to go right round the roundabout. We want to get in this far lane. I tell you, it's a little bit tricky it's, uh, with this wheel uh, on the Thrustmaster E-Swap. I have been contemplating um, picking up another wheel. Um, and I've been looking at the how to manage my space on my on my sort of desk here. And how I would, where I would put it and how I would have it. Um, and it is a possibility. It is a possibility. So that might happen again within the next couple of months. Um because of the generosity of, of quite a few of you guys here on CGD Games. Um, my membership numbers are now up to about 70, 75, 80 people, which is absolutely phenomenal. I can never say that word, phenomenal. There we are, I've said it. I actually managed to say it. Um, so yeah, um, I might invest again uh, into another steering wheel. Uh, only a cheap one. I'm not going to go for a Logitech. I don't really... Because I'm a console gamer. Uh, I don't really see the point of going all singing, all dancing. Uh, with these Logitech ones. Now, a great steering wheel... Um, is... The console, I think, is the Hori. The Hori racing wheel. Now, the reason that I say that... Is because... Number one, it's fa it's fairly cheap... Uh, from like Argos or somewhere like that um, and the other reason as well is a lot of these games well a lot of these simulation games most of these simulation games don't have force feedback so you're paying all this money for a, a Logitech wheel or a Thrustmaster wheel and the force feedback doesn't work and then in a lot of them um, well what games I think it was on the road that there was hardly any tension at all in the wheel so the, the wheel was just dealt really really loose and then on the other end of the scale on Fernbus, the wheel had so much tension 
it was really difficult to turn. But then the drawback with the Hori is it only the wheel only turns, I think, is it 90 degrees or 80 degrees or something like that? Am I supposed to go down there? No. Oh, yes, I was supposed to go down there. Flipping heck. Right, so I need to get in that lane now. Sorry, we've took a wrong turning. Let's see if we can get over into that left lane because we need to... You let, you let me go, son. I'm going to go around this guy here. I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's why. We've got some pedestrians crossing the road. We're just going to do a full circle again. So, yeah, that's why I recommend uh, the Hori wheel. Like I said, it's it's fairly cheap. And it doesn't have force feedback built into the wheel. It doesn't have any motors in it or anything. Um, so, yeah, I don't really see the point of paying all that money uh, when force back force feedback i don't know what happened there force feedback doesn't actually work on any of these games the only game i've only ever got it working on uh force feedback was bus simulator but then again with bus simulator every time that i went on to bus simulator i had to reprogram all the buttons in every single time and it was all right faff with the hurry wheel what happens with the hurry oh hang on a minute uh uh quite long the I usually work the whole day, sometimes even longer when it's busy. Do you ever get tired of it? Not really. It keeps me busy, and I love what I do. Most people would be exhausted working that much. Most people are lazy. I'm just a hard worker compared to the average person. Huh. Don't be so full of yourself. Sorry, I didn't mean to come off as narcissistic. Did you see that then? I don't know if you caught that, but somebody, it was a lady in red. Just, I had to swerve out of the way of her. Now, what was I saying about the hurry wheel? I can't remember what it was, what I was saying now. No, completely gone. But yeah, that's the wheel I, I probably will go for again. Uh, that was it. The hurry wheel is essentially um, a glorified controller. Because that's how uh, the Xbox recognise it as as a controller, you see. Um, it just thinks it's another controller plugged in and just reacts uh, to the, the steering wheel moving as a thumbstick moving left to right. That's the only difference. That's what it is. And it's got a little bit of tension on the wheel. I think with inside its mechanism, it sort of works via um like bungee type cords what are you doing fella i think he's forgotten something he's just turned around in the middle of the road um yeah and that's how that works and that's how it feels like it's got its tension and when i did have that wheel it worked really well but i got told you know get a logitech they're the best wheels which is fine and dandy but like i said um it doesn't um doesn't support the force feedback so pretty pointless for me right let's see if we can get on this pavement let's try and not knock someone over there we go crazy place to park but you know it is what it is are we in i think we are splendid stuff right let's see how we got on this time five stars this time there we go oof and we didn't get as much of a tip either which is uh, strange right we'll do one more job so uh, let's, in fact, I'm just rolling off there. Let's jump back in the cab so I can see what I'm doing. So we need to put it into reverse. There we go. Right, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Oof, blimey. That was a bit close, wasn't it? Come on, keep reversing up. That's it, son. You've done fabulous there. Right, and let's put her into drive. And away we go. Let's jump back in the cab now. There we go. Superb. So the other thing... Oh, blimey. Flippy neck, sorry. Uh, what I would like to see on Taxi Life is some weather. Yes, we are in sunny Spain. Bloody hell, Ali G there trying to step out into the road. Uh, I would like to see some rain because the rain in Spain mainly does fall on the plane. Um, so yeah, would love to see some weather in the game. We've got wipers, but all they're there for at the moment 
uh, is bugs wiping bugs away. So yeah, if we got some rain in this, and even that could be added into the game, it could start to rain, and then more customers would appear on the map. Um, you know, just to, want to be going short distances because they don't want to be out in the rain, and they got in and they get, they get in the taxi and say, "Oh, isn't the weather terrible today?" And you know, just have conversations about the weather and. So the NPCs would be reacting to the environment. And once again, parking up on the pavement. If we can get up here without smashing the side of me taxi up. There we go. How are we getting on there? Not too well, I don't think. Incorrect parking. Righty out. So let's stick it in reverse. I'll have to do some of this. Oh, good lord. That Look at that for driving, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. There we go. Right, so let's pull in there. Crazy, really. Right, he's in. That's all that matters. We've got him in. Let's get out of here. Get him dropped off. Do well, actually, aren't I? Because we've only had, what, was it one accident? And that was because somebody pretty much stopped right in front of me. We'll crack on with this job. It's only a short job, just down the road, 1.6 kilometres away. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like I said, I can't really see a map extension coming straight away. But like I said, there's more variety in jobs. Bit of a variety in the challenges and not so silly uh, for me, uh, that would be good. You know, get me here before 2 o'clock, get me here before 3 o'clock, all that kind of thing. Uh, and this, the sort of variety in the jobs could change in the areas, because obviously within this we've got residential areas, we've got industrial areas, we've got um, tourist areas. So you could be, you know, get me down to the beach, get me down to the harbour. Um, you know, I'm going on a boat trip. Just things like that that sort of, you know, would add to the game uh, I think would be cool and another thing that you don't see on the map as well just sort of trucks buses now I may be wrong it's been a while since I've played it uh, trucks buses uh, motorbikes you see them you see the scooters parts up at the side of the road but you never see anybody riding them that would be cool that would be cool as well. There's there's so much more they could add to it to make it that little bit more interesting. And I'll be completely honest with you guys. It's like I said, it's been a while since I've been on this game. Um, due to other sort of uh, other video games coming out, other simulation games uh, that have distracted me. But you know, I bloody enjoyed myself here today. I might even play a little bit more after we finish recording today, because this has been quite nice to come back on here. And uh, enjoy the title again. It really has. Let's put our handbrake on. Come on, fella. There we go. We're off again. I've been. I've not been on it that long that even the uh, the screeching's not really annoying me yet. <laughs> of the tires as we pull away. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, get yourself down to the beach, fella. The beach is always a good choice. I'm more into sightseeing. Well, why did you ask then? If it's not your cup of tea, then maybe you'll enjoy eating good food. Oh, that's an interesting option. Yep, delicious food is always a good idea. Unfortunately, I'm on a diet. I'm sure you will find something right for you. I will consider it. Thank you. Well, I'll be honest, whatever I suggested, um, he was he was just going to be awkward then, wasn't he? Eh? He asked for ideas, and he knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to go sightseeing, so why are you bloody asked in the first place? I'll never know. And I think I've just gone the wrong way again. Oh, no, I haven't. I'm still on the right track. There we go. Now, there is, if I remember rightly... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was keeping my eye on the right-hand side there uh, of traffic pulling out, and then... Obviously, the people in front of me as well. I didn't see them uh, coming out. Right, are we turning here? I think we are. We're going to mount the curb. Not to worry. 
And we're just going to go around this corner here and drop this fella off. Straight across. These back streets of Barcelona do remind me uh, of the back streets of Manchester. They do. Let's get round here. I think we've, you know, we've took that a little bit wide. It's hard to judge, isn't it? Yeah, we're not going to... Are we going to get round that? No. So let's uh, reverse up. There we go. Splendid stuff. And we'll stay mounted on the curb slightly because we are going to park up on there as well. And I think that is our best job yet. There we go. Jobs are good. And there we go. What did we get for that one? Five stars once again. A tip of 28 euros. So 308 euros on that one. So how much cash have I got in the bank now? I'm not taking another job on. We're going to put the handbrake on. Got 10 grand in the bank, ladies and gentlemen. So there we go. That was nice to come back uh, to Taxi Life. Like I said, it has been a while. But I really did enjoy my time there. That was a lot of fun. Let me know if uh, if you've been playing some Taxi Life lately. as a bit of a change. It uh, is nice to jump back on it. But, yeah, I've shared my ideas with you that I would like to see. You know, some more exciting jobs. Something with a bit of purpose. Uh, rather than just flitting from A to B with all these different people. It'd be nice as well, maybe if they added some more conversation pieces in as well. That would be cool as well. But let me know your ideas in the comments. But as always, I really do uh, appreciate your time. And thank you very much for coming along and watching today. If you have enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell so you know when I go live and new content drops onto the channel. But in the meantime... Why don't you check out one of these awesome videos that have popped up onto the screen now, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.